Hello guys, uh, bringing you back a little bit more of XCOM. Uh, as things have progressed from the last moment, a scale has increased. Avatar Project has been announced, and our main mystery man keeps talking to us as slowly as possible. So, <laughs> just to put emphasis on all the things. Um, three days away from getting some more rookies uh, for whatever purpose that I don't know what I wanted for. I know we need more income. I mismanaged my money, and I should have got in our en another engineer, but I didn't. Um, so we're working with the two engineers that we have. Um, I saved some money for the wet work, but I don't know if I want to save it anymore, and I'm thinking about getting a calm relay. But we're, we're, we're holding out right now. I think I'm going to get rid of uh, Dwight over here on Workshop, and I'm going to put him over here, because I know, I know for a fact we need, uh, we need the alloy. So I'm going to reassign him. And it's going to cut down to 15 days, and I think that that is a lot more reasonable. Uh, and if we can get our third engineer, even better. So we'll do that. Okay. I love padding armor. Setting so we're going to have to go deal with this. Five, India. So we did get our grenadier, uh, the, one of them, to have uh, armor shredding. So that's important. Uh, Caitlyn's back. See, I knew it. By the time we got another mission, I had the faith that Caitlyn would come back and we would be able to do that. Um, and I think we're good here. I'm going to start keeping all the corporals as we go. Sl only because I, I desperately, desperately need that sergeant so I can get wet work and start going from there. So, let's go on to this mission. This is who we're taking. We're not taking any sharpshooters. Uh, we will start adding them into the group as soon as we get more uh, numbers green into our deployed. group. Squad green to deploy. I'm, I'm wondering if I should have gotten Vulture right now. They're working for the resistance and stole the data tap along the advent network Either way. in this area. And the data they're retrieving is critical to the alien's latest operation. Recon suggests the aliens are already moving to destroy the device. That data is too valuable to lose, so we're moving in to secure the area. Eliminate all hostile contacts and protect that gear. What's crazy about the game is sometimes as you start advancing in your technology, the game advances their technology even faster. So sometimes uh, you gotta be careful of what you upgrade, because they will start upgrading. Um, the fact that I went weapons first makes it a little bit better because they're probably going to upgrade their weapons, but that means their armor isn't going to be as high. Also, so. forces are already moving to destroy the data tap installed nearby. We need to lock down the area and secure the device at all costs. Okay, I don't know where everyone is. Pedro here is going to lead the charge. Veronica's going way far up. We're visible here. Oh, Jesus. At first, Advent deployed non-lethal stun units for crowd control and the occasional protest. We don't see a whole lot of that anymore. Okay, well, that didn't go as planned in any way, shape, or form. I want to keep him invisible as much as I can, just so that way uh, we still have a way, a way to, a way to kind of like, Already there. a way to kind of like just still have vision of what's going on because we just lost it really really quick. We're gonna have two people attacking on us immediately. So, 
so. Unfortunately, this is what I have to do. I have to get this in vision. And, uh, yeah. Did we increase the chance here? What are you doing? Panic, huh? What's happening? Disoriented. Alright. Hey, look at that shit! That pigeon just kind of shimmying across. Alright, he's gone. I don't have to worry about it. It's down. <laughs> look at this pigeon just shimmying across. There's war going on right now, buddy. <laughs> Are you not concerned in any way? Um, Moving the designated let's go here. Do anything else? I'm gonna keep him as a as a last option right now, but. I think right now I'm good. Um, all right, I'm going to go here. It's a so 33%. And I can't use a frag? He's disoriented. Oh, so I can't use it. Okay. Let's just try to do some damage while we can. Okay. A bit of work. I don't want to reveal him yet, so let's do not do that. She's gonna go up top, no cover. Let's check out the hack. Let's check out the hack. Soldier gains a squad sight for two turns. Let's do it. Half the planet. Kinda worked. She's vulnerable, but uh, you know, it worked. I'm gonna put him in a little bit closer. Uh, again, I don't want to reveal him. I just want vision of what's gonna come up soon, so that way he can set up like the flanks and all that stuff. Keep the pressure on. Oh, look at that jump! That was intense. He got away though. All right, that's been removed. Okay, let's go up here. He's my eyes for the fight. So working out. So this is still vision for them. Um, 
can't see down here. So that kind of sucks. But I can go up here. And I can get vision of that. Oh, what? I got spotted. Oh, jeez. They're coming right up to me. Okay. Advent troops here. I could have sworn I was in a good clear spot. I didn't see that there was any kind of red that they could see me, but uh, that happened. So, I gotta figure out what to do here. Roger that. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Go up top. Well, she's here. She has no cover whatsoever. I feel like I need to drop him. Otherwise, this guy's gonna get hit. Grenade out. It's not my ideal grenade. Not my ideal grenade. Alright, she'll be covered completely in here. So I think that's fine. Um, I'm gonna give aid protocol to Pedro because he's likely to get shot at. So this gives him a little bit more defense, more survivability. Oh my God, is he? Is he? Oh, okay, he's bringing someone around. Okay. That is fine. I can actually deal with him now. Oh jeez. He's on the run. Oh what? Oh they're trying to take it out. Gotta get me out of here. Panicked? Come on, buddy. Oh jeez. <laughs> What's he gonna do? Is he gonna kill someone? He missed. At least hit, you know? Leaving yourself wide open. Okay, they're they're attacking this thing. I got a grenade down here. I feel like that's that's my option right now. Alright, so I know I can kill this buddy in here. We gotta kill him. Buddy boy inside. Where is he? This guy's gonna be a problem though too. Going here. I'm going into a bad position. <laughs> Critical, but it's not enough. Ah, uh, okay. Oh no! Ah, oh, wrong one. God damn it. I needed. I needed him to do something else. Moving out. I needed to get this guy killed.
Well, I wanted to guarantee it. Now I can. I think I just lost Missed. one. I think we just lost someone, and that's all from a misclick. His attack needed to come and attack him with his uh, the electronics, and I didn't do it. Now we got panic all over the place happening. Oh, point blank. And these guys are still attacking here. That's kind of good, but at the same time, it's hurting me. Keep attacking the machine buddies. Don't don't worry about me. There you go. Okay, it's gonna be this next guy that's gonna decide whether I lose somebody or not. Don't do three damage. Miss. Ah, jeez. I gotta, I gotta get this one. There's one down. Pedro, man. I am sorry. That was me. That wasn't even you. This was a mission that was gonna succeed with nobody dying again. But I went and I misclicked completely. And I got you killed, buddy. I am so sorry. So sorry, Pedro. And then, I won't lie, I'll also uh, be missed. So, there was that too. Alright, I need a grenade in here. Kill that one. It's gonna get tough. Alright, awesome. Heading to that location. get two in the wall. Catch. That's probably what I have to do. So that way they don't do more damage to that machine. Toss a grenade and probably get another one. Okay, and now only one person left. Direct line of sight. Awesome. There we go. We're making a comeback. We've lost one person. We now have a story to tell on this episode. And that was just purely me, guys. I, like I said, it. I misclicked it. It was not him. We had a way to deal with it. And we just we did it poorly. We just did it poorly. Okay. So. First things first. Let's get Caitlyn to grab this item. Because it's the thing that's there. Clearly can't grab from the outside. Tech guys will love this. 
next thing next, let's heal her because I don't want her to die. She is vital right now. Next. Let's go for a slash. Got the objective in sight. Menace one five, we've got a line on the target. Move to protect that gear at all costs. Okay. I'm gonna reload. I'm not moving. Locked and loaded. I feel like I don't need. I shouldn't do this. I, I feel like I'm gonna do a little watch. Is he gonna run away? No, he's not running. Okay. All right. All right. All right. We're not running. Um. Let's go here. gonna slash him just looks like something I can do taking care of status we lost someone due to my fault again it was my fault status confirmed mission accomplished sometimes you win sometimes you lose <clears throat> and sometimes you misclick and your buddy dies I could, have even, I could have also healed him. That's the thing. I, I could have healed him. If I used my grenade though to kill him, my grenadier, I wouldn't have been able to do it for the last, the last fight there, which would have been a problem. Uh, yeah. It's a little depressing to look at. Caitlyn got injured again. All right, there's our revive. That only works if they didn't get killed in action, but they're just down. Hello, Commander. Do I have another specialist? What's researching Work right now? Well Commander, if we intend on discovering the purpose of the chip we extracted from you, we'll need to conduct the appropriate research as soon as possible. Yep. As soon as possible, but not right now. Okay, guys. So this is the moment we I was talking about. We can to honor our fallen soldiers, Commander. It's not much, but it gives our people a chance to pay their respects. So we're going to go to the soldier that died, which is uh, Pedro Pita Meda. Tells you where he died, how long he lived on our Avenger, and what's going on. So, uh, let's tell him. Let's tell the story of what happened. Um, misclicked. So, I'm sorry I misclicked and you attacked the wrong person. Only for... No, hold on. So, sorry I misclicked and you attacked the wrong person. Then, only to have your teammate your teammate miss at point blank point blank range there we go only to have so sorry I misclicked and you attacked the wrong person then only to have your teammate miss at point blank range I don't know what to tell you Ha <laughs> ha 
I don't know what to tell you. That's all I can think of. Uh, what would be a, a last thing for him to say? I, I don't know. Is there any is there any way I can actually click on him? Fallen soldier. Is there anything else I can do with him? No. That's all I can I, that's all I can do. I thought there was a way I could see his uh, bio profile and all that stuff. Um, let's go armory. Be soldiers. So there isn't a way to see your bio, uh, unless I actually showed it to you guys beforehand. Yeah, because he doesn't show up that list. He shows in my memorial list. It'll take me back down to here, and then I can just click on him. So you can only see that he's only got four kills. He was on three missions, so on and so forth. But uh, that's kind of sad. I can't show you what his bio story was or any of that jazz. I thought, I thought there was a way. So then maybe we should get to know our characters a little bit more here. Uh, so of what's going on, who they are, and what they've been. Because sometimes they just die really easily. So let's go with our most important person right now. This is Caitlyn here. For our newly promoted veteran soldiers. She's a sergeant. Oh, she's already been promoted to a sergeant. Look at that. Soldier abilities. We already did it. Okay, so let's go to... Customize? Profile. So Caitlin is the youngest daughter of the prestigious Brooks family with uh, high intellectual cap cap capabilities and nurturing personality, she's quickly rose to the top of the medical field. She's a medic. As the invasion began and millions lost their lives, Caitlin vowed to make a change in a fateful encounter walking her dog Dexter. Oh. Led to the meeting of a man that she would soon call husband. Together they joined XCOM. Together they Oh, that was a little too fast for me, buddy. Let's go in here. Let's click on here. Together uh soon call husband. Together they joined XCOM. Together they hope to leave XCOM after the war is won. You can make the table smaller. It's easy, Caitlin. <laughs> we can make the table smaller. It's easy, Caitlin. <laughs> I think only a few people will understand what she means by we can make the table smaller. <laughs> Usually when it comes down to game night. Uh, Alright, so that's Caitlin. That's one of our people, more important people right now because she's uh, the only one that's advanced so much uh, for us. Let's go to the next one. Uh, we have Chili. Chili. Chili has been helping us for a while. So let's let's see who he is. I wish I could have showed you who um, Peter, uh, the Pedro was, but now I, uh, I don't think I'll ever get a chance to. All right. So Chili. Uh, country of origin: Canada. Date of birth: May fourth, two thousand ten. That is that is accurate. Very accurate. <laughs> uh, all right. Adam was caught by alien forces outside of one of the city uh, centers in Canada. Using a stolen vehicle, he rammed one of the Advent security towers in the hopes of uprooting it. Ooh, pretty adventurous. Obviously, it didn't work out, but we like uh, his instincts. Although he tends to be quiet by nature, he g his eyes give off a chill as vast as the frozen tundra. <laughs> ah, he's a soldier <laughs> worthy of your attention. Dude, that's a little spot on. That is quite spot on. I won't lie. Um, who's next? We got Queen B. Is this is this going in order from the top? Yeah. Okay. We got Queen B. Victoria. Does she have a profile? She does. All right. All right. Here we go. The Queen Mother reincarnated. Holy Highness, Her Majesty, the Empress, Monarch, the Sovereign Queen, the Ruler. Regina, Lady uh, Dictator, Sultana, uh, Subjugator, Vanquisher of Pina, <laughs> uh, Title Holder, Conqueror, Overlord, uh, Countess, Regent, uh, oh, sorry, Regent, She of Great Power, 
I feel like that's not that's not that's not correct. Let's fix this one. She of great power. The shit. The bomb diggity dizzle. Wife of the king. This is just different ways of saying queen. But we're gonna we're gonna capitalize every title moment because that is what it looked like it should be. <laughs> this is actually pretty funny. I remember that. Alright, so we, we did her, um, we did Chili, we're doing Andrew. Alright, Andrew Spoojalot teacher, biography. We gotta get to know these people, man. We gotta get to know these people. So, the French are known for their food, their passion, their verbose personality, and their intimacy. Andrew is no exception, a traveler of the world and a lover of many. He needs few things to make him happy. A simple ear to listen to his tales of adventure, a group of friends to pass his knowledge on to, and lovely women to keep him warm at night. Ooh, look at this. Andrew joined XCOM with the sole purpose of protecting those simple things he holds so dear. Nice, nice. Hey, did you know them? Oh, what my <laughs> did you know that's my favorite song? Andrew. <laughs> uh, funny, funny. Zishin. There's nothing here. What? Alright, alright. We're gonna have to make a story for Z, because she's clearly the warrior that we all need. Alright, let's put that in there for right now. We're gonna make her a story. We all need, and very rarely. The war we all need and very rarely deserve. That's all I'm going to put for right now because that's what she's been. But we're going to make her story as we continue on. Uh, yeah. Truly an amazing leader. That's for sure. But we'll, we'll leave it for right now. That's who she is. She's the warrior. We all need and very rarely deserve. Alright. What do we have here? Veronica. Alright, country of origin, Brazil. Date of birth, pickles were in the fridge. What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> okay. Don't let her size fool you. She may be small, but she packs a punch. Give her a couple of grenades. Oh, and she's a grenadier. Look at this. Grenades. And stand back and she'll put on a badass light show. She's nice and outgoing, but that's not, uh, but that's really nothing. But that's really nothing that is soldierly. Soldierly. But that's really nothing that's, that is soldierly. Soldierly. I don't even know if that's correct. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna ignore it for now. Let me know if that's even correct. <laughs> What's going on? Alright, here's another one. Christina, uh, country of origin, China. That is amazing. Date of birth, February 2nd, 2004. That's correct, of course. Um, <laughs> that is that is always 100% correct. All right, a survivor of the old war, <laughs> Katrina was a ranking officer within XCOM when the organization fell. She is rumored to have survived the ill-fated pre-war XCOM operations later referred to it to as the... Kuriukai disaster. Kuriukai disaster. Is this is this the, this is the this is a special edition character you get when you download XCOM, isn't it? That's what that story's from. I don't know. All right, Angelica Mushi jams. We have we have nothing for her either. What's going on here? Just, it's empty. All right.
That's, how can I leave that as her first line? The bombarder of ships, the explorer of worlds, the savior of small plants and animals. <laughs> we'll, we'll leave it for now, and we'll add more to her story as she unfolds. Uh, why I put ships? Because she's a grenadier right now. <laughs> Look, another one that's empty. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to keep filling these ones up. But we're going to have to start writing some stories. She's a rookie right now. She has no story. So <laughs> we're going to leave it as that. We're going to put it as... She's a rookie at the moment. Her story is yet to unfold, but rumor has it she has a one-eyed dog and one hella cute baby. Done. That is who she is at the moment. Lily Lil Wang. Okay, we got biography we can read. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. A wannabe Asian, but not really. Despite her lust for Wangs. Oh my god. She's a hardworking teacher. Soon to be uh, a master Shifu. <laughs> she works hard teaching the orphan children to kick some alien ass. I feel like we're gonna have to add to her story too, cause that's oh my god. All right, and that's everyone. That's everyone. Who who was who was Pedro? We don't know. We don't know because we didn't get a chance to read his story. Somewhere out there, his story was to be told, but we didn't get a chance to do it. Um. But we did get to tell his story of how he died. Add to character pool. I just did that. I don't know what. I just want to see what that did. Didn't do anything for me. All right. What? Hap who are the people in in a uh, V soldiers? A recruit? Is it? Is he in here? Can we see him here? No. Alright. These people got, got stories too, but we're not going to read over them. Not unless they join our squad and they fought with us, shed blood with us. Um, what are we doing right now? Black market? We don't have income, man. We don't have income. I can't do the black market right now. Let's get our rookies over Avengers here. Plotting new course. Let's get some new people. And then we'll see their, what their stories are. Alright, we got some new people. We got Lindsay, Andy, Romlin, and Rogine. Oh, huh, that's a lot of new people. Jeez. Jesus. I feel like this is what I want though, so that way I can get the money. Let's go over there. New Let's go there and then we'll go meet our new people. Okay. Let's meet these new people as we kind of adventure on to, uh, before we go into the black market. Few soldiers. Who's new? Alright. Is there a story for him? Character. Bio. No story whatsoever. We're gonna have to make a story for Ojin here. No story for AR. We'll have to make one too. So as they adventure on, we'll get a story. No story for Andy either. But there is a story for Lindsay. Let's see what this one says. Just like them Russian girls. Fierce, beautiful, but. <laughs> fierce, beautiful, and she will set you on fire. And I don't mean crabs. Molotov specialist? What? Oh, yeah, okay. 
Well, tell us what's Crap. God damn it, man. She's not even Russian. That makes no sense. But okay. We're gonna call her Khalid. Khalid! That's the worst. That's the worst. This thing was made a long time ago. Clearly, this was made a long time ago. Um, so the ones that don't have stories, we're gonna have to start making some stories. And if anyone, anyone wants to make stories, uh, post them up. I'll add them in here. Uh, definitely tag them on as well. Cause it's more fun when you have a story to tell of the person, and then you kind of just start to get to know them. But before now, we've never had the resources to. I don't know what he wants to talk about. Let's 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 get this mission going. We want that black market up and running. I appreciate the new lab facilities, Commander. Okay. We have one scientist. That's all we really need in here, right? I don't think I ever need another scientist. All right, we got a scientist in. Bam. Our research is progressing as expected, Commander. One day to Dr. go for Shen research. Is constant vigil over my activities is starting to wear thin. I consider myself a patient man, but eventually, she's going to have to trust me if we're going to achieve our goals. Do we have any engineers left over? No. All right, one day for our mag weapons. Black market open. Okay. <laughs> Buy. Do we want an engineer? Intel, huh? I feel like we can do that. Plated armor. Oh my god, yes. Okay, we want plated armor. Confirmed. We want an engineer. Confirmed. And do we have 75 intel left? We can get some supplies. We're gonna get alloy very soon. I don't think I need to worry about that. Let's just get the supplies. And let's get a... A radio going. Let's rush things, man. That's, that's what we need to do here. Bag weapons are coming up in a bit. I don't need to do anything for that. Let's... Look, we just got a huge advancements going on now. That was totally worth. All right, in ten days this thing's gonna be up. Uh, da -da -da -da. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? All right, let's. Oh yeah, we gotta get. We gotta get this stuff. So we need money. So we're gonna get wet work. We're gonna go for um, squad size, and we're gonna get vulture going. All right, we spent all our money already. <laughs> we spent all our money already. Uh, we have an engineer that's not being used right now. Um, what do we want the engineer for? Let's cut this down to five days. All three engineers are in one spot. It's down to seven days. I'm only saving three days. I don't think I need that. I don't think I need the three days. Um, what I do need... If we start excavating this one, we're going to get... 31 supply and alloys. This one's supply. I'm gonna do this one. Except. That one's 20 days. This is 10 days. I think I'm okay with that for now. We don't need anything else at the moment. Uh, are we building a research comm? We don't have the supplies for it. Or the energy for it. So when these, when these, when this one comes up, I'm gonna put someone here, and I can upgrade. I can upgrade the conduit. I need 80 supply for it. All right. Yeah. Yeah. 
I think we're good. I think we're okay. I think I wasted my money really quickly. Uh, and I probably didn't need Vulture, but... Sometimes you just gotta you just gotta do what you gotta you know you just gotta do what you gotta do. Um, who do we want to make contact with? After we pay the initial intel cost, to oh make no, contact, we'll have to we used all our intel. Few days before the local resistance oh no. comes out of hiding. Once we find them, we'll be up and uh, running. Intel. Commander, right. as of right now, we don't have enough intel to get a solid bearing on the local resistance forces in that area. Oh, this is tragedy. I felt too good I'm to be sure true. We'll find the results to be as These magnetic-based weapons are a lot like the early railgun prototypes. Look. They fire projectiles at extremely high velocity. I had the feeling. <clears throat> this wasn't that. Hey, look at that. Mag weapons are up, but it felt, I, I knew it, it felt too good to be real, and we ended up, uh, we ended up screwing ourselves, uh, quite a bit. What is this? Oh, that's for the sniper. I'm not using sniper very much, but I feel like I could use that. I see the radio one. I foresee a number of valuable applications stemming from this technology. I'll have a report assembled as soon as the research is complete. For most of our soldiers, the living quarters on board the Avenger are a step up from the conditions they've had to live with on the ground. Remote reconnaissance indicates the aliens have a UFO hunting for our position. We need to be careful about where we pick our flight paths. Commander, we just got word that the resistance hit an advent supply line. We have an opportunity to salvage some high value materials, assuming we can clear out the alien forces guarding the site first. All right, this is what we're doing next. We're going to jump in. Uh, so I think I'm going to cut this one off before I jump into the mission. I'm going to stop recording here. Alright guys, I'll see you in a bit. And we'll tackle this uh, new Indian place. And maybe get some intel because we clearly <laughs> screwed ourselves over on that subject. So we can't really advance storyline wise. Uh, but we have advanced quite a bit on our ship. Alright, catch you in a bit.